good morning. I just had to take a massive breath then because I've just stomped up the stairs. Very late in the week to be starting a vlog. It's Friday. It's been a bit of a busy one. Um, but I think the sun's come back because it looks very bright. So you probably see the sun on my face shining through. I've only got the blinds slightly open as well. Uh, it's very hot this morning, hence this to walk the kids to school. Well, Kira's to school. Alex is off today because he was a little bit snotty yesterday at nursery. He was doing all the and just snot all up his face, you know. Lovely um, toddler stuff. Yeah, he was not really a toddler anymore, but never mind. Um, but he was coughing and a little bit snotty and in the night he woke up a couple of times coughing and he was just not himself last night. So I thought, save sending in this morning because he really didn't seem well in the middle of the night. He's proper coughing and I was panicking thinking, oh my god. Um, but we did do one of those like lateral flow tests, the little ones where it shows up in half an hour on a little sort of thing. Um, and it, it's fine, like it's negative. Um, but I thought, keep him off nursery just in case, because they, they'd probably be funny about it. Um, so I've done that. Um, so he's at home today. Probably going to get nothing done around the house. Oh, my battery's flashing. Oh my God, I'm so prepared. Um, yeah, and I, when I woke up in the night with Alex, because he disturbed me, I, I've, I've only had about three and a half hours sleep because... I felt so sick and honestly thought I was going to throw up in the middle of the night and I've, I'm, I'm afraid of um, being sick so that was fun so I'm kind of wired right now because I've had an energy drink and I'm just like okay let's go let's do the day <laughs> let's let's get this done um, and I'm annoyed because I, I was going to go to the gym yesterday as well do it look at me I'm like <laughs> um, I was going to go to the gym but started to feel a bit tired and dizzy in the afternoon yesterday so I need to go today, but now I'm thinking I'm probably going to feel knackered again, so uh, I don't know what I'm doing. There we go, that's better. I had to charge the battery because it's flashing at me. Always forget to charge it. Um, oh my god, it's later in the morning now. I've been pottering about who work downstairs. Alex has been watching Miraculous the entire time. That dragon just looming at me. Um, I tell you what, I feel really weird today. I've had my breakfast, ate that about a couple of hours ago, but I feel like I haven't eaten. I feel starving. I don't know if it's because I felt sick during the night and I just kind of felt like I had air bubbles trapped in my stomach. It was horrible. And now I feel like I could eat like two breakfasts, two lunches. I could eat like a whole pile of food. I'm starving and I'm getting annoyed now. And I'm thinking, do I just wait till lunch? Because I'm, I'm trying to be good. Um because i was a bit naughty last week as i as you saw me vlog if you watched it with um, <clears throat> the crispy creams and takeaways and whatnot so i've been trying to get back on it this week and i've slowly got my weight back down <laughs> um so yeah but do this week i've been getting a little bit frustrated as well because i feel like a lot of people will probably sympathise with me on this. Do you have a partner, significant other, whatever, that you feel like you're nagging? You ask them to do stuff for you, for the household in general, and they forget, not 100% sure if it is forgetfulness or whether it's just, oh, I'll do it later and keep putting it off. But I keep asking Dan, um, he repainted the kitchen, but he didn't finish it all because there's so much junk like on top of the microwave, on top of the fridge, in the messy corner as I call it, like under the stairs. It's an awkward bit of the room and it's full of junk. And I keep saying, can you, you know, tidy it up, get rid of stuff. Like I keep organising tip runs and we just still don't seem to be able to get rid of all the crap. Um, and I've been like desperate to get better storage solutions for the kitchen. I was all excited about this. And I said, just, can you just get like the room painted for me because he's better at painting than I am and he can reach I'll get a bit of like dizziness for trying to do the ceiling I'll like and um, so he did that but he hasn't finished it and this may make me sound like a nag but I feel like when I ask him to do stuff just lately it's never done it's never finished not properly it's like 
half-assed, if you know what I mean. It's half a job all the time. And then I have to go, oh, that still needs doing. And then I feel like I can't get on with the next job that needs doing in a room or a bit of organisation that needs to go on in the house until he's done the thing I've asked him to do. So it goes on and on and all week long I've been asking him. He was supposed to have done it. He said he'd do it over the weekend, like last weekend. Didn't happen. But I just gave in because I needed to organise my storage solutions. I'm going to show you actually. This is a whole other level of happiness for me right now. Look at these. Yeah. I'm so happy with this. Look at this organisation. Ignore the box. That's just the, the overspill that wouldn't fit into the canister. But look at all these. Got little baby ones too got like them in sets of three and stuff got six of the big ones because we get through loads of cereal we got the golden nuggets we got the frosties these aren't name brands by the way these are asta's own we got the little hoops got my granola spaghetti rainbow pasta as alex calls it then we got the rice alex helped me fill all these it was really cute he, he kept like i filled them up and then he popped the lids on for me he's been very helpful and we got the curly pasta we got the penne pasta we got the one I can't pronounce, the shells. We got the flour, the sugar. This is probably not interesting to anyone. I put gravy granules in these ones. Yeah. And then we got some cocoa, even though I don't really bake anymore. But, you know, organisation. Um, I'm thinking, because this bit of the kitchen's a bit awkward, we've got the knives and everything hanging up there. Oh, they're a bit annoying. I, I would rather have some shelves that come from, like, there to there going down but we might have to get maybe some narrow ones there dan's also said maybe if we get a shelf about halfway up and put some of the canisters up there because obviously we can't keep it like this it's in the way or the other option is maybe over by here we've got this stupid don't ask me why the marigolds are dangling up there we've got the stupid um pole there oh it's gone out of focus I have no idea what that was for. Like, we don't really use it. We don't use it for um, tea towels to dry or anything. So I'm thinking if we get rid of that, we could put some shelves going here and maybe store some of the stuff over here. Ooh, you're nice and warm. It's warm outside, but it's quite chilly in here. But you're like a little hot water bottle. Are you okay? Are you okay? Have you got, have you got Starburst? Call me fair. You got what? Gummy bear. Gummy bear. Gummy bears. You've been coughing today, haven't you? Do you feel a bit? Do you feel a bit poorly? Yeah, I'm gonna go get napkins. Yeah, you wanna go to your doctor's? I mean, you need to go to the doctor's. You're not that bad, but you're just a little bit, a little bit snotty, aren't you? Can I have one, please? Which colour do you think, Mummy, can have? A green one. Oh, thank you. I like green. It's one of my favourite colours. Thank you very much. Guess what? Alex, guess what? Guess what? I love you. I love you. You love me too. Do you love me all day? That's what you were telling me this morning. Give me that green sweet. Oh, I thought you were giving it to me. I don't know. Is that nice? All those orange ones do smell nice. It's very sunny today, isn't it? Good morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sit, mate, sit down. Come here. Come here. Whoa, you fell off the sofa. What's going on today? I fight in everywhere. Well, that's just a general day, mate. There. But in particular, what's happening today? Is it your. It's twerking there. Is it your graduation? No. Are you going to wear your fancy yeah. cap and gown? And maybe not one of your bogies on there. Best real posh today, and also you're having your photos done later, aren't you? That we miss for nursery. How? Uh, get your photo open, Kira. You got your certificate, Alex. You in your posh gown? It's upside down. Yeah, I know that's a whole point. <laughs> <laughs> See, what is it for? What did favorite. you get it for? Yeah, careful. She said the funniest preschooler goes to. There you go, Alex. That's your bit of fun. Oh. Thank you. Got a bag of a bag of goodies. It's not saying that you don't need. Really. You got a little book. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be a fireman? That's what you want. That's what you want to be. Yeah. No, I need to be Spiderman. You need to be Spiderman. Oh, Spiderman. Okay. Who's that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got these annoying sunglasses on. 
I've just come to get Alex's photos taken and the place where the lady is based um, is at a place called Middleton Hall which is very pretty I've never been here before and there's like gardens and stuff so we're gonna have a wander around because we're a little bit early oh, Alex just climbing around behind me okay okay he's got a dirty face as well right before he's gonna have his photos so what's that oh. Um, excuse careful, me, careful, careful, careful. Alex. Fall over, you silly boy. End up in the water. Some pretty flowers around here. What was it? Are you looking for what bugs you combined? No, we're just looking. Okay, what you move around a bit. You might find. Alex doesn't want to be with us. You're hiding under the table. Yeah. Did you just see them green dots? You want you, you want your picture? Yeah, it's nearly time. We're a bit early, aren't we? You can get them done in a minute. Kira's currently going around with Daddy's phone, seeing what wildlife you can spot, aren't you? And what plants? What you found? Does it come up with anything? Has it worked? No. Oh, it's probably too small. The boys have run off. Oh, here they come. Spot this man. Good work. Here come. Good evening. We're back home now. Very late. I haven't vlogged anymore. Very sh Look at my forehead. Is it proper shiny in this light? Um, where did we go? Where, what did our last film? Was it in Middleton Hall, Kira? Yeah. We were looking at the flowers, weren't we? And then we went to Grandma's house and we saw Lola's puppies. That's their grandma's dog. She's had four puppies. They're very well, it's cute. It's not grandma's dog. It's Uncle David's dog. But it's yeah, but she's looking after it. Um, but, yeah. I didn't film them because I thought they might get a bit stressed. They're like, they were cute, weren't they, Kira? Yeah. Wriggling about. They kept shouting for their mummy. They're very sweet. I, I think they're two years, the two boy, years, two two weeks old now. And they're um, cute. The, uh, they, they, would, they would be quite big if they were two now. Yeah, the they would. <laughs> well, the boy, the girls always pushed him away from when um, Lola's feeding the puppy, so he doesn't get as much as the smallest one, and he was crying. Out. Yeah, I think he's the runt of the litter. But um, yeah, they're very they're cute. Like so it. when they get a bit bigger, we'll have to do a little video of them, won't we? They're very cute. Um, and it has been absolutely boiling. It is so hot. That's very very cool, sunny um also i would have loved to have filmed this um when we were at the middleton hall place we didn't go into the actual middleton hall because it cost too much money it's a bit extortionate but there's little like boutique shops and like a cafe and stuff like that because on that little square i don't know if i explained that's where the photographer was to do alex's um graduation pictures which he did really well with he's very smiley she had like a little toy that made noises to make him laugh and he actually looked very cute because just before he was crying a bit, he was a bit, well, a bit whingy. So, yeah, they should come out very nice. Um, but there was um, an apothecary, wasn't there, Kira? What does that mean? An apothecary. It, I think it was classed as that. You know that that little tiny shop we went in with all the, the oh, little yeah. witchy stuff? There was um, dragon ornaments, it's pendants, like, 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 and loads of stuff. It actually worked for what it said that they do. Yeah, like a lot of them had crystals on. There was ones for luck, ones for I, wealth. I like I like the. I know we, the woman. The woman was very helpful. Well, I say helpful. She was trying to get us to spend that money, but she was helpful in kind of telling us what was in the shop. Um, and she, yeah, she had loads of dragon stuff, loads of fairy stuff. I think she had like ingredients for like spells and all oh, that kind of witchy stuff. Say, it was really actually, interesting. Or can you actually like buy it? What you say? Is it just for display, or is it actually? Yeah, you can buy, buy stuff in the shop. That's what it was. It was a shop. But I wish we could get one the, there was this really nice that. dragon pendant that she showed me and I think it was for creativity which I could do with right now <laughs> for my writing especially to inspire me um, and when and oh, I kind of turned it over school, it help and me. it would help you yeah probably would but you, you're not allowed to wear jewelry like that but I turned it over and it's um it's a very pretty necklace but it's like 20 pounds and I thought oh I wish I could yeah. have one. I know. Well, maybe for your birthday we could have a look because the ornaments were nice. Kira saw lots of nice fairy ornaments, didn't you? Oh, I saw like um, a Ooh, dragon. Blue. <laughs> I saw like a dragon crossed with a seahorse, and I like that one. And I saw like a dragon crossed with a horse, and I like that one. 
Hello, oh, the one back. that she showed me. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to sit up here a minute? We've got Alex sleep down here because he's just exhausted. Um, We've got some balloons. But yeah, there was there was loads of pretty stuff. There's loads of little ornaments you saw that you liked, didn't you? But I, I thought mm, not not advisable in their room because stuff gets knocked over all the time. Have you got ice cream? Oh, let's have a look. Have a look at what? Your outfit. Oh, okay. Grandma bought you a nice outfit. Do you want to stand over there? Like, everywhere's a mess in here. It's just... It's absolute carnage. Let's have a look. Right. What we're wearing, what we're wearing. Talk me through, talk me through. Oh, you took your necklace off. You had a nice necklace. Oh, but yeah, it's because I was lying down, so I didn't want it to get too Grandma close. bought you this beautiful play suit, didn't she? Which was quite handy because you don't have a play suit. You've, you've grown out of them, haven't you? So this is very, very nice for the I flowers. I used to have a play suit for school, didn't I? Yeah, you did, actually, yeah. I think you did, yeah. Um... The teacher tried to take it off over my head, but then she... Then she realised it's got, it's got leg holes. Yeah. Do you like your outfits? It looks very grown up, and it's very nice. Hmm. Good morning. It's a very bright, sunny Sunday. It's very hot, very hot outside. Um, has a bit of, not a late night, but it was kind of quite late last night um, that I finally went to bed and managed to go to sleep because it was so hot. Um, and the kids kind of, uh, Alex I think dozed off in the car ride home from Dan's mum's so he kind of had a lot of sleep. I was hoping for a lie-in, Alex had other ideas, he woke me up, I'm pretty sure, before 7 o'clock. I don't, I try not to set my alarm any time between half 7 and 8 on a weekend nowadays because it, yeah, I just want to lie-in. Um, and he decided to wake me up before seven and he was singing that it was morning outside and he was asking me about his teddies, he was chatting to me about, I can't even remember what. And then I was just in a bad mood. I was like, thanks mate, you've woke me up and I'm absolutely knackered and yeah. But do you know what? I've had quite a productive morning, I'll be honest. Well, until about an hour ago. I've um, got myself red do as if, I don't know where I think I'm going, like some kind of garden party. I've got this this long dress situation going on like as if i'm going to a fancy barbecue or something um i've managed to upload a vlog i've edited a vlog and i've been doing some of my writing which i've had kind of a bit of writer's block with the last couple of weeks so i've done that um and i've also arranged an activity i've started to arrange a little activity for the kids for later it's not ready yet but basically it's, it's not really an act, it's just something to keep them occupied. Um, I can't believe I've never done it before, to be fair. We've used, what on earth are they arguing about? We've used like one of the massive mixing bowls, like a plastic one, filled it with like, Alex chose some polar bears and I think hippos, randomly, because he's got loads of plastic um, animal toys. We've put those in there, a few of those, um, put water in and put it in the freezer. And then I thought, oh, I'll make them for Kira too. So she's got like figures about this big of like, I think she's got like Supergirl, Wonder Woman, ones like that, and a couple of princesses. So we put um, another bowl full uh, for Kira. I've had to rejig the freezer so there's room. Um, but I put those in quite early. They're still a little bit watery, so I think they're going to take a little bit longer to freeze. I want them to freeze solid, so then we can take them out in the garden. And we can, yeah, they can chip away at them to get the toys back out of the ice, you know. Um, keep them busy for a little while, hopefully. I'm thinking, I want to take them out somewhere today. But I don't know where. Um, the park, Tamworth Park, is still being built, apparently, because they uh, took down the old one. They're rebuilding a nice new one, but they're taking this sweet time about it. Um, and I just don't know where to take them. Obviously, it's got to be somewhere shady. I don't want to drag them around like the shops. We don't really need to go to the shops. I, I, I can't keep spending money on like indoor places where it's cooler or like it'd be a lovely day to go. I don't know, like to maybe the safari park or the zoo or something. It'd be lovely. I'm not paying for that. No, it's too. Ex it's. I swear, everything's gone so expensive just lately. Um, I was looking for just ideas for what we can do in the summer holidays with them because obviously I want to have a few nice days out because we're not having a holiday or anything this year. So it'd be nice to go, like maybe on two or three little days out. Um, or like big days out like maybe if we can afford it the safari park or the zoo again we did go there in spring or I don't know maybe we'd like to go to Drake Manor 
um, haven't been for years, but Alex is at an age now where he'd appreciate it a bit more and he'd be able to go on the roller coasters. Um, myself and Dan have actually, well, I've got the day off on Tuesday. I don't know yet if Dan has had his request approved, but basically I'm booking it off because it, Kira's at school until, she's like Monday, Tuesday and then half day Wednesday. But Alex never goes to nursery on a Tuesday. That's always been his day where he doesn't go. Um, basically because Dan's mum used to watch him that day so we've never booked him in for it um and we've just kept it like that um and we thought this is his last ever Tuesday like as a, as a not a toddler like a preschool before he goes to school basically where he can have like a special day with just um me and Dan and I thought it'd be really nice because Kira had loads of time like this where we took her out and on fun days out and what she wanted to do so I thought it might be nice if we do that with Alex, um, but we don't know what to do. It's going to be a really hot day, so we've got to be careful about where we go. <laughs> um, don't really want to do it indoorsy, don't want to spend too much. And then I thought they do do at Drake Manor. I feel a bit, I feel a bit mean though if I take Alex, I'm not going to rock because she would like to go, but... I don't know yet they do like an adult and toddler ticket and he's eligible because he's four and under um and it includes an adult as well but obviously then if if dan does get the day off and does come he'll have to pay like the same again just for him which is a bit cheeky i think i oh just the prices for everything are, are just disgusting and even to go to a farm i was looking at this farm where they do like a dinosaur themed week uh most years or a couple of weeks or whatever and it, I swear it used to be like a tenner each which to me is quite a lot like I don't mind paying a fiver to get in there's a nice little farm not far from us where we always used to go and the kids used to love it there's a nice play area it's small it's not got major events or anything going on but it's just nice you know um and you can feed the animals but this farm that does the dino day it used to be 10 pounds and it's got a soft play and everything and it's nice it's all right but there's not a lot of animals considering it's farm it, they've focused more on other things that they've built and that are going on to entertain people um and now it's gone up to 15 pounds and that's for adults as well so kids and adults so if just like if we just took alex there for example 45 pounds for it would probably just end up being like half a day because there's not an awful lot you can do there if i'm honest like it's not like a theme park where you could spend your whole day there you know and i just think oh but theme parks are disgusting the amount they charge now it's just like i know they've got like the cost of everything is going up but i just feel like we might as well just give up thinking of days out that's what, why i'm trying to think of somewhere we can go today that's free or thereabouts or i don't mind paying for parking but just somewhere nice to go and i i just i go to sutton park but i love sutton park it's so pretty but it's um it's, it's quite far. i mean it's not that far i can easily drive there and i know the way but it's just an effort because it's such a hot day anyway and i feel like the kids will just get tired they don't like walking far so we can't go anywhere that requires loads of walking so i'm a little bit stuck and i don't know what to do i'm getting frustrated now because i've lost motivation i don't know what to do don't obviously want to drag them around anywhere like the shops or anything even though that's really attractive to me right now because they've got freezers and it's nice and cold in there right can you can you see it kira yeah. don't get too close just chuck it one first oh it's ran off <laughs> it's all the way over there can you see it oh. uh, in all the bits of oh <laughs> gone up the tree it, it might come back down in a second it's a bit shy can Kira have one? It's all right. It's up there. You might come back down in a minute. <laughs> we might see some more on the other side. Oh, I can see one over there. I think. Oh no, it's a uh, pigeon again. Oh. Kira, you look like you're going on your holidays. Oh, it's out of focus. It can't cope with your outfit. Hold on. Stay still a minute. Oh, there we go. It's focused on you now. Look at that fancy outfit they don't usually come down here do they in this bit watch him he's looking for my don't chase him alex alex yeah, i think he's still got one he got, he got your one. Oh, we've got a guest with us 
Put your sausage rolls. Yeah, and Bobby has to look. Is that nice? I oh, know, I'm I'm guardian guardian of all the dinosaur teddies that Alex has put. Where are we sitting, Alex? You can't actually see, but there's the castle. Castle up there, isn't there? We don't usually come sit down here, do we? No. Yeah. It's actually nice sitting under here. It's nice because look at all that over there. Look how blistering hot it looks and we've got a nice shady spot haven't we? It's sunny up there. You what? Well, it is sunny out there. there. I have oh, gone to Costa to get a ruby frappuccino. A fra are they called frappuccino? Oh frostino that's what I mean. I called it fra I knew I'd called it the wrong thing but basically the guy I always seem to get the same guy and he always puts strawberry sauce in my drink and I don't know why because it's not strawberry it's um ruby chocolate. Um, and they didn't have any of the dairy, like any dairy swirl or cream, so I've got to have it like this. Uh, but never mind. <laughs> it's sunny out there. Sunny out there. Me and Kira just chatting about school. Oh my god! <laughs> Me and Kira just chatting about school next week, and she's got a raffle, and she's just sitting there eating a sausage roll, and she just goes, "It's quite good for fifty p." Like a little, <laughs> like a little old lady. <laughs> yeah, we know. We it's heard quite good for fifty. It is, it is actually. Well, I heard it loud. You heard it loud? Excuse me, mister. What were you doing yesterday in all the shops? Were you chumping? Yeah. <laughs> At people. <laughs> I had to keep apologising for it. It's not even like it was a silent but deadly one. It was I like a trumpet. Only, I learned this part in my photos. That's what <laughs> trumpet is. It sounds like trumpet. And mummy. Yeah. And that shop that had one of those magic stuff. Mm. It was literally facing the lady. I need to go. A little girl. I'm so embarrassed. I'm not even. Little oh, girl. So little embarrassed. Girl. <laughs> Keep running off and leaving me. Look, finally on my way back. <laughs> what have you two been doing? You've been having no, fun. Oh, you're playing that, are you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the kids keep going out while I'm running away from me. I'm beginning to think they don't want to spend time with me. Oh, Alex is coming back. Yeah. Here he is. He's spotting a mile away in his red shorts. Be watch. Here he is. What? You too hot? Yeah. Yeah. Come and sit in the shade, then. That's why we chose this little spot. Right. Do you want some of your sausage roll and a, a little drink? Yeah. Where's Kira? Oh, she's lurking up there by the thing. Oh, we've got a cheeky magpie. Look, Alex. See the magpie that's just landed? Yeah. Look, he's bouncing around over there. You could save him some of your sausage roll, maybe. Do you think he'll like that? Look, Alex was chucking the peanuts about that we brought for the squirrels. And now we've got a little bunch of pigeons just come over to help themselves, haven't we? You little menace. They're coming to join us, look. How, how rude. No, that. don't waste your sausage roll on the smelly pigeons, look. Look, they're coming to join us now. We don't, we don't want visitors. Gonna win. Look Why your birdies win? My birdie win. Yeah. <laughs> they're very brave, aren't they? They come up very close. Hello. Hi. Strutting about. I mean, they're coming up very close to you, aren't they? Kira, you got a friend. Look. Where? Over there. They keep coming right up to you. Right next to you to peck the little bits of pastry you dropped. And they love me. They love you. Because you've been chucking peanuts to them. That's the reason they came over in the first place. Here, look, they're pretty birdie. <laughs> Only works when she looks away, mate. <laughs> He's getting you back at your own game now. <laughs> He's off. Oh, go away. Go away, Susan. I don't know. His castle it was. I can't. I'm not very good with history. Right, you two going up that way then, yeah? I know, but I, don't, I can't remember. I'm going to go around this way. Save myself tripping over up the steps. <laughs> Kira, you excited for when we go home? We can do those ice things. You can smash the animals out oh, of the ice. Yeah. Can we film it? Yeah, if you want to. Show the camera? Yeah, Alex is just, he doesn't want to walk with us today, does he? It's far too cool for us. Storming on ahead while we're trying to feed the little baby scribbles. They've fallen off of that out behind you, They are. I think it's the heat's got to them. We're home now. It is so hot. I feel like I've just I've had a shower, but not in a good way. Do you know what I mean? Right. It, I just feel 
soggy and horrible. Sitting in the car on the way, that was horrible. It's only like a 15 minute journey. What do you say? Why am I following you in the kitchen? What do you want to look at? The eye. What do you want to look at? Eye. The eyes. Do you think your animals are frozen now? <laughs> do you think they are? Your face is good, big. You need to wipe your face, don't you? Should we pretend that we're at the North Pole or Antarctica and we save the, the animals think. are the princesses? That is a really good idea. Do you think that's a good idea? Um, Keith wants on a cat and mine wants on a buttercup. Yeah, we know which ones you